Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can convert between degrees and radians on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. If you don't have one of these calculators but would like one, check the link in the description below. To do this, we'll be using the shift key that looks like this located here the menu key with the shift function of setup that looks like this, located here, the option key that looks like this, located here, the times 10 to the x key with the shift function of pi that looks like this, located here, the fraction key that looks like this, located here, and the F1, F2, F5, and F6 keys that look like this, located across the top here. Let's say we were given radians and want to convert to degrees. For example, we have pi over 4 and want to convert that to degrees. The first step is to change our calculator to the mode we want our results in. You can see here at the top of my screen it says rad or radians mode. We want to change that to degrees mode. So to do that we press shift and then the menu key so that we see this screen here. We scroll down until we see angle. Here we can choose between degree, radian, and gradient. We want to choose whichever one we want to get our results in. So if we want to get our results in degrees, we choose DEG here. We see now it says DEG, so our calculator is set to degrees mode, and then we can exit here, and we see at the top of our screen DEG, or degrees. Now we enter our radians, which is pi over 4, so we use fraction, shift, pi, scroll down, and then 4, and then scroll to the right one. Now we need to tell our calculator these are radians. So to do that, we hit the option key so that we see this menu here, and then F6 to go to the next menu so that we see angle over F5. We select that. And now we see a degree, a radian, or a gradient symbol here. Since these are radians, we choose F2 for the R. There we go. Now we have pi over 4 radians. And if we hit EXE, we see that converts to 45 degrees. What if we're given those 45 degrees and want to convert that to radians? Well, again, to do that, we have to change our calculator to the mode we want our results in. So we start with the Shift menu, scroll down to DEG, and choose Rad or Radians. There we go. Now we can exit this. We see Rad at the top of our screen, letting us know we're in Radian mode. Now, if we enter our 45 degrees, and then since we're already in this menu, choose F1 for the degree symbol, and hit EXE, and we see that gives us 1 over 4 pi, or pi over 4 radians. Another example, let's say we're given 180 degrees and want to convert that to radians. Well, since we're already in radians mode, which is what we want to get, we can enter our degrees, which is 180, and then tell our calculator these are degrees, and hit EXE, and see that we get 180 degrees is equal to pi. What about going from pi to degrees? Again, the first step is changing our calculator to the mode we want our results in. So if we want our results in degrees, we go shift menu to the setup menu, scroll down 
and change this to DEG. There we go. Now we can enter our pi. And again, tell our calculator these are radians. And hit EXE. And see, we get pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. If we wanted to convert gradients instead of degrees or radians, we would follow the same steps except choosing grad from the setup menu and g from the angle menu. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.